come to town and get down. Hollywood with the funky sound. Listen up, folks, you will agree. Nobody gets around like me. Hollywood, you know the flavor, you know the sound. Now listen up, folks, as I take you down and bring you around to the rhythm. Come on. I used to be in a singing group, and uh, when I was a kid, uh, being in talent shows was like one of the things that all the kids did. Uh, because there were a lot of outlets for you to perform your craft. Every school had an after school center, and you had the boys club, you had YMCA, we had a place called a bathhouse, where they all had kids programs, so every day after school you could go to a lot of places. And uh, we formed a little singing group, and we were starting to really roll. What was the name? The name of the group was The Innovations. Right, right. So you're the uh, bridge between doo-wop and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are and, there uh, any others with you that made that ride? <laughs> no. Everybody else, uh, what happened was we started to get real good and started to receive a little recognition. And uh, some people can't take that that pressure of, of being great. Uh, it's like they can't ask a real hot girl out on a date. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Well, I'm saying once you get swollen Fear. up. Fear. Yeah, no, well, well, I mean, once you get Fear swollen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you don't want to rehearse. Right. And uh, one day sitting at rehearsal, I had a guitar amp, and I had the microphone that goes into the guitar amp, and I'm sitting there waiting for everybody to come to rehearsal, and nobody came. So while I'm sitting there, the radio was playing, and, uh, you know, just before 8 o'clock uh, in New York, uh, you know, the radio is live, it's kicking, and I'm listening what year is this? Uh, this got to be 69, 68, 69. All right. And I'm listening, and I'm like, you know, I can do that. So I started out, being that I was a singer, uh, it was very easy for me to convert my conversation into singing. And being that I knew what notes were, and being that I knew what programming of a record is, uh, I was able to fit my little sayings into a spot in a record that I would never be talking while the artist is on. Right. And back in the days, they made records with A sections and B sections and a bridge. Right. So like, if if you were any kind of way like musically inclined, you would know that you know a lot of rappers they just go and. Blah, 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 blah. Well, basically, you were DJing and rapping before her came out. Well, I. Right. I, I had my first job in 1971. Right. He had his first party in 73. Right. And you got to say to yourself, in 73, was he hip hop? Because this is what he's saying. Seems like there's a bunch of characters who kind of preceded her that kind of got lost in the shuffle. Exactly. But see, the reason hip hop starts in the Bronx is because everybody that listened to music in the Bronx never went to another borough. Right. But weren't you a Manhattan based? Or? I come out of Harlem. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah. I made my bones in the Bronx. Right. But I come from Harlem and I was, I was, I was already good. Well, when does Disco King Mario come out? Because he comes out before those guys do. Right now, the art of rap. You don't see it right there, the place to be. We in Coney Island, where I told you hip hop is a culture. You understand? Rap is something we do. Hip hop is something we live. The culture of hip hop is peace, love, unity, and having fun. Stand by tonight and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me tell way. you like this here. Yeah. It might be Coney, but it ain't no phony. It's Busy B and DJ Hollywood, and tonight it's gonna be good.